everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are already subscribed welcome back my name is sierra and in today's video we are stuffing my last paycheck from march and first from april so we are combining some money today i've had this money sitting around and i just have not got to make a video you guys i've been very busy making people budgets dealing with the kids told y'all i was coaching soccer that's been fun we actually have to head to soccer practice in about an hour so i need to hurry up and do this but i don't want to leave you guys hanging over here you guys know i love you so here i am making this video we are stuffing 1175 dollars today and like i said that is from the last week of march and the first paycheck from april i'm gonna start off with my savings binder and then we'll work our way down i am going to get back to stuffing my weekly binder in the next video and i just need to you guys because i have been just spending not really being super smart about my spending but like i said i got to this point in my life where i feel okay to do that but i don't want to go overboard so we're going to fix that and we're going to get back to my weekly um, stuffing of my binder and i might even do like a no spend type of month for april because I need to just build back my reserve all right so starting off with my savings challenge jizz <laughs> these are from creating stacy on etsy if you guys are interested um she makes really cool products and she sent me these i think they're so cool they're just like little scratch offs so we need to add 30 dollars and then 46 for march which was the last two weeks in march that i just didn't get to add um i'm gonna round up and do 50 because the atm doesn't give out ones and then we'll do 30. so we'll have like 175 in here instead of 172 which is fine because a little over never hurt anybody um then we're gonna do our first week of april which is 29 but once again atm doesn't give out one so 30 it is Right, so that's that. And then next is gonna be for the $10,000 savings challenge. And I am gonna stuff 200 in that. I kind of wanna get new envelopes, but I feel like I would just be forcing it if I did because I'm so like set in my groove of like my envelopes that I currently have and it just works for me but I do feel like at the same time like the cash stuffings get kind of repetitive with the same envelope so you do need to switch it up to you know keep people engaged but I don't really want to switch it up because I'm happy with my envelopes but I do at the same time feel like if I switched it up it would just be something new and fun so I might just do that I don't know but for our ten thousand dollar savings challenge it now has one two three four five six 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So 850 currently in the $10,000 savings challenge. All right, next is for the $20 savings challenge, and this is going to get 40 since we are doubling up. And that gives it 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, and 40. So 140. And that's all the savings challenges that I'm currently doing. So we'll set this to the side. Brief intermission. I need to share something with you guys. So I have been trying to get back into reading instead of like scrolling TikTok and YouTube at night. Um, I have been reading instead and I have found this book that I am quite addicted to. I cannot put it down. It's called Verity by Colleen Hoover. Um, it's about like an author, an upcoming author. Well, she's kind of like an introvert and um, she meets this guy who his wife is a best-selling author and she ended up getting into a accident and it paralyzed her so she couldn't finish her own series so he hires the girl that he ran into the up-and-coming author to finish his wife's series and from there oh my god the book is literally full of twists and turns this is such a good book if you like to read try this book out you will be on the edge of your seat 
I will say though, if you are pregnant or postpartum, this book has quite some touchy subjects about that. So I would wait till after you give birth if you don't have like a really strong mindset and a strong stomach. Um, but this book, so, so good. I just needed to share that in case anybody here is readers. All right, anyway, back to the cash stuffing. So we're gonna go ahead and do my long-term binder. And starting off with Aston, Aston is going to be getting 100. That puts his total at 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, and 50. So 550. Next is for Alea, and she is also going to be getting 100. That gives her 51, 52, 53, 54, 5, and 50. So 550. Moving on to Preston, he is also getting 100. Putting his total at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 50. Next is for family time. Family time is going to be getting 70. And that gives it 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, and 40. So 240. I'm so excited for the warmer weather because we'll be able to do stuff again. And, you know, well, outside stuff, I should say. My kids love, like, going to the park and just being outside. And I cannot wait for summer. I can't wait for the beach. I can't wait for just to lay in the sun and get a tan and enjoy water ice and do all that fun stuff that summertime brings. I really just can't wait. I'm very excited for summer. And so is my family. All right, next is for the house account. I am going to stuff $100 in this envelope. I'm thinking about getting a new sofa. I don't know, though. But if I do, I'll take it out of the house account that we have. Uh, but I do want to just add, you know, a little bit more than I normally would, just in case I do take the money out and get a new sofa. I'm so weird, you guys. I have, like, a really bad problem with taking money out of savings whether it's you know something I save for specifically even like when I go to take the money out for something that I save for it like bothers me and I don't want to do it so I always like keep in my mind like if I just keep saving and keep saving extra for that specific item when I take the money out I'll have more there than I you know initially had and I'll feel better I don't know it's just something weird that I do anyway house account now has 51 50 70 90 210 30 and 40 so 240 moving on to business business is going to be getting 40 and that puts it at 51 20 40 60 82 20 40 50 and 60 so 260 Last in this binder is for vacation, and vacation is going to be getting 100. That puts it at 51, 52, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, and 20. So 420. All right, and that wraps up our long-term binder, and then we will go ahead and stuff the short-term binder. All right, so starting off with Target, Target is going to be getting 50, 20, 40, and 50, and that puts it at 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. So 180 for Target. Next is for Christmas. Christmas is just going to get 20. All right, that gives it 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. So 200 for Christmas. Date night is going to get five. That gives it 50, 60, 70, and five. 
clothes. I'm not stuffing. Sports is going to get 20. That gives it 20, 40, 60, and 80. Birthdays and gifts, I am stuffing 20. And that is that, you guys. So that wraps up our cash stuffing for today. I do hope you guys all have an amazing day, an amazing week. I don't usually upload throughout the week, so it's a little bit different for me. But this will be a nice little midweek surprise for you guys. Um, I have to go. I have to go coach this soccer team. <laughs> I will try to take pictures for you guys and insert them um, in an upcoming video if I am able to. But you can't just be out there taking pe pictures of people's kids, so I I'll have to ask first. Also, if you guys um, did not know, I am creating budgets for people now. It is available in my stand store. I will create a personalized budget for you if you need help repairing your credit. Whatever it is, I can help you out. Um, I do have it linked down below in the description. I also added some new inventory to my Amazon storefront. That is linked down below as well. And last thing that I want to mention to you guys, um, Discover Card is running a promotion. If you want to apply for a new credit card, you will get $100 on your card to spend on whatever you would like. I do have the link in my bio as well if you want to apply for that card. Discover is an amazing credit card. They have no annual fee, no hidden fees, 0% APR on purchases and balance transfers for a select amount of months. Um, just an amazing card. It's one of my favorite cards that I personally have so I always recommend it when I can and who wouldn't want to get an extra hundred dollars But that's up to you to decide everything is linked down below for you guys that I mentioned But that is it. That is all. Have a good day guys. See ya